Welcome to Evan and Deb in the Evening, brought to you by Health, Wealth, and Wisdom, bringing you news and happenings from around the Bay Area and the medical, financial, and general wellness experts that help you live longer, stronger, and richer lives at any age. And now, from the Senior Voice America Studios, here's Evan and Deb. All righty, it's Evan and Deb in the evening, hour two here on Thursday night. We're live and uh, we've got some great guests. We're going to be talking about the dangers with over-the-counter medications. A lot of people don't realize how, you know, mixing or matching them doesn't always work. They don't always match. All right, right now we got Sherry Torcos with us and she's an award-winning pharmacist and health author that can talk to us about the problems when people mix or try to max match over-the-counter medications. Sherry, welcome back to Evan and Deb. Hi, thanks for having me on the program. Our pleasure. So uh, tell me, and you know, people think, well, they're over-the-counter medications. So I could take one of these, one of those, and all of a sudden before they know it, they're in a little bit of trouble, right? Yeah, that's right. You know, I think there's an assumption that because you can get products over-the-counter without a prescription, that these products are safer and they don't cause side effects and interactions. And the reality is that um, side effects with over-the-counter medications can be quite significant. Um, Some of these drugs can cause problems with sleep disorders. Uh, They can affect your kidneys, your liver. Um, They can cause ringing in the ear, depending on, you know, the drug that we're talking about, the category. So I think it's just important for people to be aware of some of the possible side effects and also to consider some natural alternatives because as I'm a pharmacist um, and I do believe in the value of prescription and over-the-counter medications for certain situations, there's also a lot of things that we can do naturally to help uh, promote healing and all your your transit time and how things move through the intestine. And um, that's why if you're taking those drugs that are causing that, you really have to work hard by eating more fiber, more water. Exercise is also very important. Um, Exercise you know, to stimulate the, the move, movements in the intestine that will help facilitate bowel movements, um, that can be very helpful. And, and fiber supplements are also really a good choice uh, for people that aren't getting enough fiber through diet rather than taking a laxative because the problem with the laxatives is that they can lead to um, a condition called lazy colon where you, your body does become dependent on the laxative in order to have a bowel movement. So instead of that, go for a fiber supplement. There are some great fibers that you can find today, um, health food stores and pharmacies. I like one which is a, um, a soluble fiber called sun fiber, and it mixes well with water. It's clear, odorless, tasteless. You can mix it with water, juice, whatever you like, and is it that doesn't a, get is, thick. Is that a powder? It's a powder, yes. Okay, because yes. I found another one. Have you ever heard of clear fiber? I have, yeah, and this would be, be um, similar with respect to it. It is completely clear fiber. When you mix this with water, you don't even see it. This, um, so the sun fiber is great, um, and I think GNC, I've seen it in, in some of their formulas. Sun fiber is just an ingredient. It's in different brand names, but uh, it's one of my favorites because I find people will often say, oh, I can't take fiber because they don't like the taste or it's gritty or it gets thick when they mix it with water, whereas this uh, sun fiber does not do that. Oh, I'll tell you, that, you know, if it's the same as what I tried, this clear fiber, it's awesome. It just, it's powdery. There's, and, and actually the one I'm taking, this clear fiber, is like an orange flavor. It's awesome. So yes. I'm going to check out the sun fiber as well yeah, that you're telling me about. Yeah, the sun fiber. Um, the sun fiber doesn't have any flavoring at all, so it's not orange. or It's completely neutral. So you could mix it with water, cranberry juice, orange juice, whatever you, you, know, you like to have um, as a beverage. And it's a great way. Um, it's actually made with these natural um, fibers uh, called guar gum, and it works as not only a, um, a fiber but also a prebiotic. So it helps to stimulate the growth of the beneficial bacteria in your gut. Okay. I'm going to so gonna go look for it. You said at GNC they have sun fiber. Yeah, I've seen it at GNC. Yes, yeah, sun fiber is the name of it. And, uh, yeah, there are a lot of um, – that's just one that comes to mind. But I know there are other brands that have it as well. Um, but it, it's great because, um, again, a lot of people don't like taking fiber because there's that misconception that fiber just is, you know, yuck. <laughs> right. Oh, no, this stuff, this, this stuff now that they're making this powdery stuff, it's yeah, they, awesome. The technology is so much better. I mean, 20 years ago – when uh, people needed a fiber supplement, uh, you know, there, there just wasn't a whole lot of good Oh, options. it was nasty. It yeah, was it was brutal. nasty, exactly, and <laughs> gritty, and people would yep. gag and choke, and, 
you know, now it's just like, man, these fibers, not only are you getting the benefits of the fiber, but like I said, the sun fiber is actually prebiotic as well. Um, so it stimulates the, the beneficial bacteria, the probiotics, which are also important for digestive health. 